How we doing? Good. Let's go. Good. 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 Had a good scrimmage. Uh, practice eight, just like that. It's over. Um, you know, uh, it's first scrimmage for us. It was good to be in the stadium, but uh, the guys were really excited. And played two practices this week, uh, heading into Easter weekend, then next week and week after we finish up with our other seven. So a little over two weeks is all we got. It's going fast, but uh, really like the like the way that we've come along here in the last three, four practices in particular. I think each side of the ball, you know, continue to see the things that they're strong at, continue to work on the areas where we can improve. And so um, mindset's where it needs to be. Um, guys just going to work and uh, you saw that today. So no matter what the, uh, the scenario was and uh, you know, from my standpoint as a head coach, um, you want that uh, give and take and that's exactly what we had today. So uh, I felt good about it. Each side, uh, you know, always wants it a little bit better uh, just because um, you know, there were some missed opportunities here and there that could have taken advantage of, but uh, really good job by our guys uh, coming out and competing. I uh, thought we played very physical today. Um, you know, that's what you're going to get when you get out there and, and it's live, but um, execution um, always can be better. I'd expect uh, that improvement from practice one to practice two, but uh, for the most part, I was really pleased with where we're at. Questions? You have Emily Gray out here to start. Chase would be next. See, see, see. Coach, what are you looking for during these spring scrimmages and keeping a closer eye on that indicate the team and the staff is progressing well? Yeah, I think uh, it's just the simulation of a game, you know, and so substitutions, um, you know, this is the best time when you can really, uh, you know, get an idea of how we're going to substitute and, um, you know, the officials out there, uh, you know, we have some officials every practice, but the real uh, orchestration of uh, kind of, you know, hold standard over the ball would be in a sub um, defense, you know, matching those substitutions, playing the down and distance, um, knowing the situation we're in. So a lot of, lot of to, to teach off of. We ran probably about 85 to 90 plays um, today. So a lot of good teaching that we can get there. And, um, you know, that was, that was, a. Uh, that was probably as good a first scrimmage as I could have hoped for. Chase? How did Jalen Milro look out there today? And could you update us on, on Jalen Hale as well? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jalen's just been really, Jalen Milro had been super consistent. Um, you know, he's done a good job, I think, of just playing ball. And, um, you know, he's got that, that dual skill set, you know, being able to run and throw. And, uh, you know, now that we have enough things in where he can utilize uh, all of that, uh, you know, you can see even the play calling working around what he brings to the table. And um, he's tough to handle. Uh, he's just so extremely fast. And, you know, you think you, you kind of have a, got him bottled up and he just runs right around you. So um, he's done a really good job. You know, I think he's getting more and more comfortable with the offense every day, um, you know, especially when it comes to the pass game. Uh, but, you know, there's just things where he has options to, to, to make a play with his feet. And uh, he's done that, I think, at the right time and being more and more comfortable just playing the game, you know, and finding ways to move the chains, uh, convert when he needs to convert, um, taking the shots when he needs to take the shots. So uh, I'm really proud of the way he's come along. <clears throat> I think as far as uh, just an update on Jalen Hale, um, he did have a significant knee injury. Um, and, um, you know, he'll be down for the spring. Uh, but there's, you know, some evaluation that will still take place to kind of figure out what that timeline will be, you know, as far as uh, the rest of the year and so forth. Nick Alvarez, you have a question there? Yeah. Just for, aside from Jalen Melrose, on the other quarterbacks, how do you split up reps on a day like today and how are they progressing consistently the way you play? Yeah, um, for the most part, Jalen Milrow took some, took the ones um, to get all the quarterbacks the reps that we want to, and we're trying to to get them all, you know, a significant number in a scrimmage like this. Um, there are times when other guys can take the reps with the ones as well. So um, that's no indication on you know who's at what spot, one, two, three, or four. Um, we're just trying to get those guys reps, um, and it's good to see guys operate not just with their group, maybe that people would see them at the ones or the twos or the threes. And so, um, you know, he did, you know, a nice job. And all those guys, I, th I actually thought the quarterbacks in general did a really good job um, making some throws, uh, staying with plays, checking protections, um, just feeling really comfortable uh, back there and not trying to do too much. Um, they never turned the ball over once today, uh, which I think is a really good sign. It says a lot. And 
you know, when they had chances to make throws, uh, they went and put it in a spot where, you know, uh, the offensive player could compete for it. Um, and, uh, you know, threw some nice touchdown passes in there too. So it was really good all around for the quarterbacks. Tony. <clears throat> what did you see from the backfield and how would you differentiate those backs? Is there, how do they complement each other in terms of their skill set? Yeah, I think they're all, they're all very diverse. And so um, as far as complementing where you, you know, you have a, a, a hit a more physical and a speed guy. I don't know if we have that great of a disparity um, between all of them. I think they all can do everything that we want. Uh, they fit really our offense very well because they can come out of the backfield and catch the ball. <clears throat> to me, for these guys, there is a downhill physicality that I think they really have, but they have the ability to also, you know, make the jump cut, get to the outside, you know, turn on the speed and. Um, and uh, you know, in, in the backfield, you know, come out and, and we just find a way to get get them touches, and that's what our offense really does is find ways to get the ball to the best players in space. And uh, the running back position, especially right now for us, is uh, certainly a strength when it comes to the athleticism. So there's not a lot of different qualities. I mean, you can say one guy does this a little bit differently or better, um, but in the end, I feel like the offense can operate with all of them, and you really don't have to change what you're doing based on who's in the backfield. Joe, but raise your hand for me if you still have a question. I'll ask you next. Coach, can you evaluate the wide receivers today and evaluate kind of how they are coming along, understanding uh, your system? Yeah, I think um, I think a lot of it is to we're just rotating those guys through, trying to give a lot of guys chances to work with the different quarterbacks, and so um, they've all kind of rotated with the ones, they've all rotated kind of with the twos, um, just a lot of reps to, to, to split up. And so um, I think they're, they're really picking up the offense. We tried to keep it simple and let them play today. Um, but when I look back to the previous practices, uh, we were able to incorporate um, a lot of what we really want to do with them. And, um, you know, not just uh, short passes, but uh, be able to push the ball down the field. And they've uh, time and time again, you know, found ways to, to win and then finish the play by uh, catching it and, um, tonight's a nice place today uh, where they broke some tackles too and uh, the yards after catch were impressive and that's on the quarterbacks you know ball placement offensive line with protection to be able to get the ball there so uh, really pleased with the progress um, you know it's, we're never going to say we're there yet especially eight practices in uh, to me the passing game when it's done right um, there's some intricacies and there's some nuances that uh, just take a lot of reps and so as far as that's concerned, we're we're far from where we need to be, but the progress is where you want it. Uh, Alex, we're going to be two or three more. Oh, cool. Looks like you maybe got a little nicked up, to get physical out there today. Am I nicked up? <laughs> what do I got going on here? So I think I'm good. <laughs> okay. Uh, just the, the pass protection. How do you see the offensive line today? Yeah, I think that was one area, and I think it's a matchup, right? I think we have a strength there on our defense uh, with just uh, probably the one area where we could have been a little bit better offensively. Um, I think defensively, I looked at it and we had a strong pass rush. Uh, offensively, I think we had a great run game. And so, um, you know, those areas, uh, you know, they those sides of the ball um, did a really good job. So, uh, you know, I can't say it's like a, a, a weakness at this point, but it's something that we just want to continue to work on. Over here on the left of Steven. Just defensively, coach, I'm not a great inside linebacker in the room, but how has Jeremiah Alexander grown throughout the spring? Yeah, I just really love the way he, you know, he flies around, he plays with passion, uh, intensity, uh, physicality too. Um, you know, it's pretty serious uh, thing. It's pretty serious stuff when he's out there uh, and on the football field. And so he's fun to watch. Uh, I'm glad he's on my side. I know that for sure. Okay, we're going to finish up right here. Coach, you mentioned a few minutes ago that it was about as good, as good of a first scrimmage as you could have hoped for. What are maybe some more details about just what made you feel that way? Maybe some of the little things that your guys did that you were pleased with. Yeah, and again, I mean, to me, the first scrimmage um, is with a new offense, new defense. Um, you know, I think it's all relative. And so have I had better first scrimmages? Yeah. But uh, I think areas, again, where we can improve probably both sides, a couple penalties that are going to be great lessons for us to learn. Um, not things where we're out of control, just, uh, you know, mentally, you know, we got a game, uh, we don't need to hold downfield, you know, just things like that. And so um, I love the lessons that come from a scrimmage like this, where the guys are playing hard, it's pretty clean, 
Um, not, not really very many missed assignments. And so to me, that's what I look at because we could teach off the tape and talk about timing and execution, not just like, hey, you know, this is the route you're supposed to run or hey, this is the, you know, the, the coverage we're supposed to be in. You know, there was really not much as far as missed assignments and um, you know, the guys were in the spots and now we can really continue to teach technique um, and continue to build the trust that it takes to be elite, you know, both on offense and defense. All right, coach, thank you. All right, thank you, roll tide.